good morning from where you are good afternoon it's morning here um welcome to another episode for those who don't know me my name is uh, alfred and um, so today i just want to talk about skills that are so important for you in your life things that are very difficult skills that are very difficult to learn but i think they are very important um so you want to get better i think the, the first skill, skill that uh, i want to go, go through is uh, digital tech or things that you should learn about digital media see if i had a chance to talk to my 20 year old self what would i tell him in essence what i would say is it's so important to teach yourself um, the basic tech that is coming up editing photoshop you see you take so many photos you do so many um, videos at the moment our phones are capable of doing so many things um, in your computer and phones are just becoming complicated basically our life is surrounded by digital media and I feel like uh, if, if there are things that you should teach yourself how to do and what to do are basic skill sets of technology so can you edit your photos to make them look well can you edit videos can you uh, code for example and these are things also that you can emphasize for your kids because i feel like they're so important that if if you really uh, want to succeed in the next generation then you should learn for example i'm a uh, i edit all videos i shoot all videos not that i went to school to teach myself all these things i've basically gone through the school of, of, of life in terms of going to youtube and teaching myself final cut pro teaching myself how to shoot videos i am not good yet uh, but i'm getting there and hopefully you can see progress on my videos and one of the things that I, in fact i want to do on one of the videos is actually just a simple tutorial for example how to edit as a youtuber or whatever the case or any digital media so just passing on the knowledge i'm not perfect but i'm all, always learning trying experimenting new things and you can see from my video and all these things is all about practice and just self-interest so if there's one skill that i think you should teach yourself is uh, digital media tools or editing coding and all uh, and this kind of environment so undoubtedly one of the most difficult skills i think it's a soft skill i don't want to call it a hard skill but one of the difficult things to acquire in this or learn in this world is being consistent it's tough because naturally as a human being just being able to do something over time and time and time you get bored you need motivation um and consistency just starts from the basic things like maybe in your house maybe for example making your bed at the same time waking up at the same time every day and uh, it's tough but one thing we can gain inspiration from is nature and how really everything was created how nature was created by god and i feel like if if we if we just take time to notice nature and how nature has perfected consistency there's a lot of great deal to learn from and here's a good example just take your time and notice your breathing just notice your heartbeat and just imagine how consistent your heartbeat is since you were born constantly beating right pace 70 or 90 90 beats per minute you're always breathing at the right time there's no one day that you've woken up and maybe gone to work and said hey let me <laughs> breathe like for four hours then maybe i can relax and stop my breathing because I've, bre I've, I've taken enough air for the whole day you're just always consistent and that's life how it is trying to always um being consistent and setting just small goals and i how i like to look at goals uh, in terms of just and rewinding yourself in terms of consistency it's always like climbing these stairs you just take a small step br breathe relax enjoy reward yourself take the next step and always remind yourself that consistency is always just taking those small steps small steps defined goals that will take you to the next step you can't start running 100 meters in nine nine seconds or 10 seconds you just have to always be consistent waking up and just trying to shave that microsecond daily it's something that i always struggle with consistency as well i always push myself to try to and if so you should always if there's something that you should aim to learn and push yourself is being consistent and take inspiration from nature now 
everyone has had a challenge with this whether you are young or in your 30s or 20s or early teens or whatever the case we always have and have a challenge of public speaking and don't take it that public speaking is all about being in front of a crowd and giving a speech and all that public speaking happens in many ways it happens in being in an office trying to um, run a meeting or trying to convince your boss or your team about something um, talking to your friends being in a setup where you're discussing something so the art of communication is actually public speaking if you may say and i think in this world for you to be successful being able to communicate effectively to whoever you're speaking to or um, trying to communicate your point so that people take it and understand it in the most easiest way effortlessly is really public speaking and i think it's very vital that we always push to improve our public speaking skills i like to look at it from a simple case here's a baby who doesn't know how to talk and here's you who's trying to understand what the baby is saying it's very tough because the baby is crying and you're trying to figure out what what they're saying in essence put yourself um as a baby in essence and in front of people how can you communicate so that people can be able to understand i don't know if my 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 story makes sense but generally if you're able to um just how to be uh, you're able to plan your conversation how to be able to deliver your points in the right way in a simple way that people understand if you go to church or go to meetings or town halls there are people that when they speak to you you are it's effortless you don't need to concentrate to really listen but then there are other people when they speak to you generally you're almost dozing and all this kind of and this is all about public speaking i am not perfect about that but there's something that you're always looking yourself in the mirror reading books trying to see how if today someone told you hey um, stand up and um, talk about this point you're able to effectively plan and talk about anything confidently and deliver the point effortlessly so if there's a skill that can take you far it's public speaking now i've left the, the final skill for the best i always say leave, save the best for the last i feel for you to survive in this world you have to learn negotiation and negotiation skill is an is is a must think about it this way you are always negotiating whether you're talking to your wife and, and discussing a point you're always trying to come to an agreement whether you're talking to your child you're always trying to negotiate no don't take that maybe do this i will do that i will reward you blah blah, blah. it's always about negotiation it's not only that you find negotiations in salaries or in business deals and all that so life is really all about negotiation so i think that uh, it's something that you it's things that you need to a framework in terms of how you run your negotiations that you need to learn and in fact it's a topic that i want to do um differently on another video because i feel like it's such an important um, um a topic for everyone to 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 learn and i have i've been reading a few things and and i implement them as well and i feel like i can share with you a framework and some books that could help you better learn negotiations because that could make a difference between winning and losing just imagine you're going for a job and and you don't know how to negotiate your salary you don't know how to put your point across you can imagine how difficult it is so i think if you if you, if it's one of the skills that you can be able to um pick up or plan this year to really get better at is negotiation yeah so those are the key points that i thought were very important the skills that i think you should learn in the comments below you can tell me which other skill you think are important in life that are hard but are very useful would love to know them Otherwise take care of yourself and see you next see you in the next video. Cheers bye.